Hey guys, welcome back to the Wallen Homestead. I have no idea what episode this is. Uh, let's figure it out. This is episode 106 and my name's Tiffany coming to you from Midland, Michigan. How are you guys? It's been a minute. <laughs> I think it was uh, November that I last did a podcast and uh, Vlogmas totally fell off the bandwagon. So um, I think I got like halfway through Vlogmas and then just couldn't keep up and just had to stop. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully you guys uh, didn't mind the videos that I did get to put out. Um, it was a lot of fun, but just needed to take a minute. <laughs> So I hope you guys are all well. Um, where you can find me is at the Woolen Homestead on Instagram. Um, let's see. We have a email for the podcast, which is thewoolenhomestead at gmail.com. Um, there's a P.O. box. All of that you can find uh, in the description box below this video. And yeah, I'm a bit out of practice for this, but that's okay. So I just actually came back from the hair salon, so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to film because my hair's done. <laughs> I never curl my hair, but I love it when it's curled. I just don't have the patience to do it because it's gotten very long. You can kind of see how long it is now. So uh, I just never curl it. I usually put it in a ponytail or in a braid, um, but I also got it re-highlighted, so I am very happy with that. It felt good. It felt so good to get my hair done. It was very overdue. I kept forgetting to schedule it. So, but I already got my next one rescheduled, so I won't have to wait as long. And yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Um, why don't we get into what I've got? So it is February 8th, 2022. And I'm just going to start off with works in progress. So I've got my notes on my phone. I'm trying that option. I used to write them out, but I think it's just a little bit quicker if I type them out, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I've got a pair of socks that are living in this adorable little wrist bag that was sent to me. So it's like this. This was sent to me by my lovely friends, Tanya and Eden and family. So Tanya and Eden um, were making these bags. Eden has the Kraken Made podcast uh, and shop. And um, she had made these bags to sell. And this is in like a Hawaiian shirt fabric. And um, they both thought of me because I, um, my father who has passed away, he always wore uh, Hawaiian shirts. And so I have, um, I have like a pillow made out of his old old Hawaiian shirts. I have um, some project bags that my mom made for me. So this was so, so special that they thought of me and sent this to me because of that. It really, really meant a lot. So I love it. Love it so much. And I've been using it as my purse knitting bag and it's just been wonderful. So my first sock project is these guys. So these little Tweety socks. Um, this is the Sansa colorway from Sweet Sparrow Yarns. And I do have one sock done. I should have showed that first. Let's see. They're just plain vanilla. And um, I just did a heel flap and gusset for the heel. The one that I've been using lately has been um, the heel that's in K from the Crazy Sock Lady Her Patterns. I love it. It's worked really well for me. And the toe that she does, that's worked well for me as well. And it's got this really cute micro stripe effect. So it's not like particularly meant to stripe, but it just kind of, that's the way it works up. So super cute. Um, 64 stitches, size US 1 needles. And I am using Knit Pro Zings on these. Um, currently on, I just started the heel flap. So that's why things are looking a little wonky there. But yeah, and these are for my mom. So these were supposed to be for Christmas. Sorry, mom. I did tell you that though the other day, didn't I? But um, yeah, <laughs> it's another just gonna be a late Christmas present or a just because present. So. Hopefully I will have those done soon so I can get them to you, mom. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this pair of socks. Super fun. 
next is my autumn in mint socks uh, from coloring book yarns in this adorable Disney dogs bag that I got from freckled whimsy last year I love this print <laughs> so cute so cute oh, I also didn't talk about what I'm wearing speaking of dogs so I'll do that real quick this is the Vilmark Skenserin by Lincoln Newman. And um, you can find this pattern in her book, Wilderness Knits. This is the English version, um, which you can get on Amazon. Highly recommend. Love her patterns. Um, and this is knit in uh, Lopi. And it's uh, Alifas Lopi is the line that it's in but um I'm super excited about this sweater because I knit this a handful of years ago and gained a bunch of weight and couldn't wear it <laughs> and then now that I've lost some weight I've actually lost um 67 pounds now which I was going to talk about in life stuff um it fits now and it fits just the way I like it so I'm super happy with it it's got um color work along the sleeves a little bit um along the hem there and yeah I just love it it's so cozy and comfy and I love this it's Icelandic wool and um it's so cozy so I love the paw prints this is one of my favorite sweaters so super happy with that um yes so my autumn and mint socks so that is the colorway from Coloring Book Yarns. It's a self-striping. And I took this while I was getting my hair done today. I got a decent amount done, so I was really happy with that. So my progress keeper is where I started at. And it also simultaneously is where I was at last time I showed this. So I did not work on these at all, except for today. <laughs> since I showed these last and this progress keeper is um a little like a little book pet rock <laughs> and that is from simply serving on Etsy and the needles that I'm using are signature needles in a size US 1 also 64 stitches these are for myself I love them so excited um I've got them in the DPN holder from ISO, which was on Etsy as well. Their little deer. Super cute. So yeah, that's what I've got going on in the sock world. I've really been enjoying knitting socks. I have so many to darn. I'm not excited about it. <laughs> I've come to terms with the fact that I do not like darning and I don't love wearing darn socks. I love that I don't have to get rid of them um, and that I can save them, but it's. I'm hoping that the more I wear them, the more kind of worn in they feel and less uncomfortable <laughs> they feel. Because for me, I wear out my socks on the ball, balls of my feet. So it's kind of <laughs> a really annoying spot <laughs> to have holes in your feet and then to, or holes in your socks, and to have to uh, then darn. So. I'm going to keep doing it and eventually I'm sure I'll either get used to it or figure something else out. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I think I said I was using size US 1 and 64 stitches for those socks as well. Next up is my shawlography shawl by Stephen West. It's living in this beautiful wax canvas bag from Magnarco, I think was the shop I'll have it linked in the show notes um, which will be here in the description box um, but it's just this really beautiful wax canvas bag with leather handles it's drawstring I adore this bag love it so this is shawlography by Stephen West this was the um, mystery knit along for this last year and I've actually been working on this a bit lately so it's been really fun do my best to show you guys where I'm at because I am in the middle of a row, but I can at least show you what I've got going on. So this is um, 
kind of Halloween themed. And I am on just about done with the brioche section. And then after that, it's, there's like a crisscross section and then there's the border, which the border is a bit big, so that'll take a minute. But um, yeah, I'm actually kind of getting somewhere with this one. <laughs> so it makes me happy. Last year's took me forever. So we'll see what happens here, but I'll show you guys up close. So this first section, this will um, probably be a little bit easier to see once it's blocked out, but it's got each of the colors in there and there's the i cord loops those welts were fun yeah so i am loving this i use the needle sizes um or the needle size that he called for in the pattern and yeah i'm loving this so much i think this is gonna be so much fun to have for halloween um i can wear it when i pass out candy i just think ah uh, it's gonna be fun um, so yeah, loving this, hoping to get some decent amount done on this. I've got a couple days off here, so I'm hoping I can get some work done on it. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what the yarn is. So the yarns that we have, we have this purple, and this is from Good For You, which is EWE. It is called Kettle Steps. And I don't, looks like I don't have the color way, oh, there we go. Color 6560. And merino and alpaca. And then this is another good for you yarn. Uh, Sultry Steps, which is. Oh, this is the same. It's merino, baby llama, and nylon. Is what they both are. And colorway is 2090. Then I've got. This is the only singles yarn in here. And sing singles just means it's a single ply. And uh, this is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light in the Onyx colorway. And I have to say, using the black yarn in this project has not been too bad at all. This colorway I really love. It's like gray with bits of neon green in it. Um, this, all I have the information for this is that it's North Cabin, um, and the content is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. This is one of our old colorways. Um, for those of you who are new, my husband and I used to dye yarn. This, um, and we were called the Woolen Homestead as well. And this was Hagrid's Happy Hour. So, Yeah. So yeah, I had, um, when I was getting ready for this project, I had gotten out all my yarn and was trying to figure out, like I wanted to do from stash and I was trying to figure out like different color combinations that I could get to work. And I had just happened to notice that I had a bunch of Halloween colors. So it totally worked out. And what's cool too is the knit along usually um actually every year yeah it starts in october so it was perfect to have halloween colors for that so yeah i'm excited about that one um like i said i'm hoping to get some mileage on that on my days off here uh my last knitting project is the brio chevron blanket by stephen west as well and this is living in this big blanket bag it's got puppy dogs on it my mother-in-law made this for me for Christmas one year. It's got, she put little gems on it. It's, it's got a T. So sweet. So this is usually used as one of my blanket bags. It's nice and big. But I have been working on this as part of Scrappy Sunday. So if you don't know about Scrappy Sunday, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady started it. And basically it's just on Sundays, pull out your scrappy projects and put some put some work on them. Um, you don't have to be for the whole day, but just give them some love and that way they don't get just pushed to the side like my projects usually do. My scrappy ones would usually get pushed to the side as well. So I, I like being able to participate in Scrappy Sunday. Sometimes on Sundays, well, most of the time I have to work on Sundays. So 
usually they don't get a ton of love but i do try to bring them out at least one other time throughout the week to kind of make up for it so this is a little bit tangled however i still should be able to show you i have been loving this project lately so this is where i'm at and this is all done in like worsted and dk scraps um, I've got a bit of hand spun in here, which has been really fun to use. And so it's all just brioche stitch in a chevron pattern. And that's the back, so that's where the solids are. And then the like multicolored speckles, all that are on the front. I really like this hot pink section, or like baby pink section, because it pops out. Oh, I love that. But yeah, it's so cozy. I've just been really enjoying this. I can't wait to have this because I, oh, I have been really enjoying using my scrappy blankets that I've finished. Um, I have a crocheted granny stripe blanket and then a cozy memories blanket and I love using them this time of year. Um, if I didn't mention I'm in Michigan, so it gets pretty cold and, um, it's just really nice to, to cuddle up in. So yes loving that so so much um let's see i started a spinning project i just started it last week and i haven't spun anything for almost a year so i was really really excited to get this going um i have been meaning to and just kept putting it off i think because i was really wanting to get kind of some mileage done on some of my knitting projects that I just didn't want to start a spinning project to take away from that but um I'm really happy I did so <laughs> definitely was worth it so here's what I've got so far so this is wound up fiber arts and this was a one-of-a-kind colorway and that's what I've got so far loving it I've got um you can see what it looks like in the little nests super fun so wound up fiber arts is also in Michigan too and I believe I think I've got the card in here so there's no colorway name but it is on her super sock base so 90 percent superwash merino 10 percent nylon but yeah she's on Instagram love her colors I love spinning with her fibers this is the third this is the third um, braid of hers that I've used and I just love it I need to show off this bag because it's so cute <laughs> this <laughs> cracks me up I just love it um this was a gift that one of my coworkers, she made a shirt for me that says Salon Mom, which was so cute, because they kind of dubbed me like the Salon Mom. I'm a, um, I am the salon manager at our PetSmart in the grooming department, and um, they always call me Salon Mom. <laughs> so I, I love that. And so she made me a t-shirt, and that's what she gave it to me in. Um, oh, I spin on an Ashford Kiwi 2, and I love it. I love that wheel. Um, I've been very happy with it. I've been really enjoying it. Um, but as far as spinning, that's all I've got. Hopefully, I will have more. Um, now on to acquisitions. So <laughs> this is probably going to be my biggest section because with Christmas and everything in between, got some stuff so I will show you um I'm gonna take a drink real quick I'm drinking Diet Coke this morning and it's in this really sweet um I don't even know what you call these ones but they're just like they're like those coffee mugs but they're just smaller um I know a lot of people use them for wine I love drinking pop out of them <laughs> but it says sometimes you forget you're awesome so this is your reminder this was also um, a gift from one of my other co-workers um, a couple of years ago. So this was super sweet. Super, super sweet. I didn't even take a drink. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so acquisitions. I'm gonna start off with my advent calendars. So I bought the advent calendar from Molly, who is Molly Klein Design. And she has sweet tea yarns. Hi, Molly. Molly and I have been chatting a bit lately and it's been super fun. We've been talking about The Bachelor and it's just been so fun. <laughs> I love it. So I'll kind of just show you. It's in this little um, crocheted basket I made a couple years, maybe a year ago. But I've got all the minis in here. That's where I stored them, like to open them every day. It was super fun. But yeah, I just love all of the colors in here. There's some goodies in there. I still got little bits of candy. They're so pretty. So, yeah, that was super fun. I love this one. Oh, and there's little um, progress keepers on some of these. Are they so fun and cute? Love her colors. So, loved having that this year. And then, oh, I will show the yarn. So there is a, a full skein of yarn that I opened on Christmas Day. And that was this one. It came with this Progress Keeper. So beautiful. And this colorway is Snow Globe. So pretty. Loved that. And then I also did a 12 skeins of Christmas swap with Carla who is from the Carla Knits podcast and I've got my yarns in this little basket so we just did 12 mini skeins and I think you can see these there you go so lots of pretty colors um I love this I love this little gummy bear progress keeper that was on there so cute so cute and then she gave me a list of what all of the yarns were and then there were a couple little goodies there's this um there's this little mini skein keychain so cute and that's from gnome acres called under the tree and then i about lost it over these these are so cute so these are little house on the prairie stickers <laughs> And they're adorable. Lost my mind over these. <laughs> they were so cute. And then there's a couple little um, little Christmas progress keepers as well. And just little, little goodies. So that was super fun. And then we also did exchange um, uh, like one large skein as well. So the skein that she gave me is called... It's from Lantern Light. And it's Tropical Holiday. So pretty. <laughs> if you can hear, I don't know if you can hear those dogs outside, but those are our neighbor's pups. It's so funny, our dogs, <laughs> they love to talk to each other. It's so funny. And I do have Benny up here, so he may bark, but we'll see. <laughs> He's looking, he's like, what's going on? Why am I not out with my friends? <laughs> so yeah, those were my advent calendars. And then um, I did share this bag. This was a gift that I did receive from uh, Tanya and Eden. And um, they also sent me, oh, they sent it to Ethan and I both, but um, there is, um, whole, there was like whole bean coffee, which we've already gone through. It was so good. And then, um, some tea and some hot cocoa. Oh, so good. So that was a really, really sweet package and was super appreciated and just meant a ton. So thank you guys again. Loved it. And then I also received a surprise gift from, um, one of the viewers who is Micah from Germany. And this was so sweet. There were these little, little progress keepers in there. They're just little, little rainbows with little clouds on them. They're so cute. And then she sent two skeins. Oh, so pretty. Two skeins of this sparkle yarn. And this is Regenbogenwolle. And I just love this. 
I think it's the Lorelei colorway. So super pretty. And I love sparkle yarn. <laughs> so I just, oh, I love this colorway. And also the German yarn is just really nice and like thick. And oh, I just love, I love German yarn. So that was super, super appreciated as well. And then she also sent a Christmas sock blank. It was so cute. Oh, I love working from a sock blank. So loved getting that. That was so, so kind. She sent the sweetest little card. And yeah, that was just really enjoyable. So thank you again, Micah. Um, I did send you an email. Hopefully it did show up. <laughs> I was hoping I read the email right on the card. So really, really appreciated that. Okay. So some other yarn that I've got. <laughs> so, um, Caitlin from Mint, Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns, um, she, they, so they moved to Texas, her and her husband, uh, 2020, and they came up this Christmas, uh, to see family and she did a trunk show. So, um, at our local yarn shop. So I had to stop by and say hi and look at all the pretties. And this is what I grabbed so two self-striping sock yarns. I've got Witch's Britches. I've always loved this colorway of hers. And I was just like, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this ahead of time for next year. That way I've got it for Halloween because I just think this is such Halloween colors and this would be super fun to cast on, you know, maybe in September, getting ready for Halloween. And then I also got this new colorway of hers called Patchwork Quilt which I believe she did end up listing in her shop. I know she didn't have it for a minute, but I, I thought she posted about it the other day. So it is gorgeous. Also self-striping. So I can't wait to start these. I really, really want to start these up. So maybe I'll start it before I finish the other socks I've got going on. Maybe I'll wait. We'll see. We shall see. But I love it. So then on Christmas day, so that was a couple of days before Christmas, um, that I went and saw her at her trunk show. Well, on Christmas day, there was some more mint rain yarn under the tree. <laughs> Ethan had gone over there while I was at work and I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. And Caitlin kept the secret too. It was so cute. And, um, Ethan picked out some yarn for me. So 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 exciting and he did a wonderful job so this is called Saginaw Bay I love this these are so my colors too he did so good <laughs> and then this is Yuletide Joy Don't trust the bubbles, which I love. Yes. So he did a wonderful job of picking out yarn. I love them. I cannot wait to use them. So, so, so excited. So, yeah, I think that is it for my stash quisitions. Yes, that is it. So now I will move on to life stuff. So I guess I'll keep my phone out because it's got my notes. <laughs> um, yeah, so life has been busy, I'm sure, as everyone's life has been. Um, work has been very busy, which is good. I always would rather have it be busy than slow. <laughs> but it's just been a little crazy, but in a good way. Um, lots of training's been going on, so, but it's been good. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we've been working out <laughs> definitely been working out um if you guys have been following along we back in august um started really counting our calories every day and like tracking them and then um just working out every day cardio every day and then um for at least 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and then um 
weightlifting. Ethan um, is a certified personal trainer. He just does not, that's not his um, career. And, but he can, you know, has the ability to write programs and everything. So he's written us programs. And uh, so we've been weightlifting and that has been just really fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's really helped me out with my job. Um, you know, it's just been great. Um, I've been able to get a little more toned and I'm loving it. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, like I said, I've lost about 67 pounds. Um, I would like to lose a little bit more, but um, we will see. I just, I'm just going with it and I'm just going to, um, you know, just keep on keeping on and I'm just going to make sure I'm staying healthy. So I'm loving it. I've been really enjoying being more active. Um, I have more energy, just overall happier. Um, Ethan has lost quite a bit of weight as well. I, I can't remember exactly how much. I know it's in the 70s though. And um, yeah, so it's, it's just been so fun. So I will show pictures. Um, we've been working on our gym. And so that is pretty much done now. Um, so I'll show pictures of that. And uh, that's been a really fun like hobby for us to do together. And um, Ethan's brother comes over. Sometimes both of his brothers will come over and we'll all work out together. And it's just really fun to hang out. And it's been enjoyable. Um, oh, I said I got my hair cut today. Now when I get when I say haircut, I just get the ends trimmed. <laughs> I, um, it's mostly that I'm getting the kind of highlights redone, but, um, I'm just kind of growing it out till I'm sick of it. And so far I'm not sick of it. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, it felt so good to have done today. It's just like a nice little pampering and I loved it. Um, been going to Friday night knit nights, it's stranded. So stranded yarn and coffee shop. Uh, it's here in town in Midland. So if you are in Midland or in the area, you should definitely come. It's every Friday, um, six to nine, usually depending on what's going on at work. I usually get there sometime between six and seven, usually towards seven. Um, but, um, but yeah, and I usually am there till around nine. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, Oh, and then last week at Knit Night, I got to meet Emily. Hi, Emily. So she um, she has a podcast as well. So she has the Knit to Cultivate to podcast. So you should go check her out. Emily, I still have to watch your episode. So I'm looking forward to catching up with that this week. Well, I've got a couple days off, so I can't wait. But it was so much fun meeting you and catching up with you. We talked about spinning. And she's actually like one of the reasons that I got my spinning wheel out. We had been talking about spinning and I was like, I'm going to start my project. I'm going to do it. So thank you, Emily. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Um, oh, and then this weekend at, um, stranded is there's like a, a knit -a -thon. Um, it's a charity event. Let me, I'm going to bring up the link. So I believe this is going on all over. Um, but like different yarn shops and, you know, knit groups and things can um, kind of participate as a way to um, raise funds. So it's for Knit for Food and it's February 12th and let's see here. So proceeds will be equally divided between these organizations, Feeding America, World Central Kitchen, Team No Kid Hungry, and Meals on Wheels. So yeah, super cool. So, so far, um, the, the knit for food organization has raised $154,899. So that's really cool. And their goal is 200,000. So yeah, that's awesome. That's so cool. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, my mother-in-law and I are going to go over there on Saturday and hang out for a couple of hours. And, um, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, if you are interested in participating, um, either maybe like one of your local yarn shops is doing it or maybe a group of yours is doing it or if you just want to donate to help out for the cause, um, I'll go ahead and post the link uh, in the description box here. You can check it out for yourself. But um, yeah, I just think that's really cool. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I happen to have this weekend off. So yes, super lucky.
yeah so other than that um today i'm taking benny our yellow lab to get his shots updated today so lucky him <laughs> poor little guy and the poor thing he actually does not love going on car rides luckily the vet's a half a mile away so it's not going to be a very long car ride and i don't think he loves going to the vet miss ella our lab hound mix loves it she loves the attention she gets so excited about it and it's so funny but um so yeah benny's gotta go to that today poor little guy but otherwise the pups have been doing well um we did find out ella has some arthritis in her wrist now baby they're both 10 so just getting to be that age big dogs you know just can be something that happens so but they're on um she's on medicine for it now and yeah she's been doing great um but yeah I think that's all I've got for you guys um I'm sure after I turn off the camera I'm gonna forget something because I always do but <laughs> hopefully it will not be this long in between episodes i'm really hoping to not let that happen again i hate it when that happens but uh i just gotta go with it so um yeah i'm hoping to also update a little bit more on instagram so go ahead give me a follow over there um and you can see what we've been getting up to all right guys i hope you have a good one and i will talk to you later bye